So from the start, doing a quick device manager check since we were switching risers and stuff. All right, now we got the 5600 in there. We're going to check. This is the latest AMD driver software. You can see which version of the driver we have right here. So that's the driver I'm on right now if you're having questions. Okay, I'm going to do a quick baseline, everything, not changing anything, just baseline, 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 like not changing anything. You bought this card, we'll go from this point. You just bought this card and you want to see what it does. You got it in Windows, you got your latest driver installed. What does this card do? How much power does it pull? We're system idle. When the system's not doing anything, GPU power. So that's the riser. This is stock. The 12 volt power being pulled is 4.7. We're going to save. We're going to close that. And we're going to restart that. Okay, now starting base stock. All right, so out of the box, you don't touch in anything. We are at 40.6 mega hash, 190 watts. And that breakdown on power is this is the ancillary power that's coming out of the 12 volt rail is pulling 62.9 watts and the riser is pulling 51.3. Take 51.3 plus the 62.9 gives you a total power usage of 114.2 and that means the system minus 190. Means the system is using 75.8 watts of power. And let's do advanced controls. And we're going to take this all the way about to 1860. Find, find controls is, let's take this down to 1620. Take 100, shave off 100 megahertz there. And let's take this down to 925. We'll apply those changes. And it doesn't look like it. It was looks like it was going for a minute and it looks like it just died on us here. So that looks like that is not stable. It was 43.1 and then it um, Let's see here. We're going to go in here and we're going to make some fine controls here. We're going to change this to 1700. You know what? Let's go 1680. I think we can keep this a little, little lower. I think my problem here is, is the this core needed a little more. Let's give it 45. So we're going to do 1680. This is fun to do with folks watching. Okay, so we're at 43.184. So 43 mega hash. Let's see if it can hold 43 mega hash and not blow up on us. We, what we're looking for is good, good shares. That that's an that's a leading indicator that this job is going to end up going to zero. Like this is going to drop here soon. Now see down we're down to 42. Here's what I'm going to do. Let's watch this in real time. I'm going to feed it a little more vCore. Let's see if we can recover this instance. Let's go over here. Let's apply that. Get a little more juice. Oh. Oh. Oh, 42.7. 43.2. So there seems to be the tilt, and I bet you we end up getting a, a good successful share here. So we had two minutes of decline, we're at 43.2. We'll recheck our numbers here, um, but I wanna see another share count come in here. I wanna see another successful share. It's gonna pick up some new work, it just picked up some new work. There it is, boom. So there was two in the waiting. We got our two shares. So you notice how that recovery happened. And I, I will try to highlight this in the YouTube video to explain what I look at. This is the kind of stuff that just, like when I'm watching it, what I'm looking for, I'm looking for, there's a lot of things that's going through my head when I'm looking at something and I'm trying to see the behavior of a setting. And certain things indicate certain other things like if I see the, the hash rate slowly declining, that's essentially a lot, it's, the thread's just not, it, it says it's doing the work, it's processing, doing the work, it's using energy, 
but what's getting submitted back up to the pool, I mean, it could be in this loop where it's just not sending the stuff. It says that it's running on the card, but something is preventing that action. It's kind of like a stuck thread, right? So then the moment we gave it a little more juice, it could complete its work that it was trying to get done and it was able to submit it. And we didn't have an orphan share, so which was good, or a stell share. So just feeding it a little more vCore seemed to be able to recover this process. How much would that vary from card to card of the same type? Um, so the air that I, we just saw there um, is, like I've seen that on NVIDIA and AMD cards alike. It has everything to do with usually starving the power of the card out in some way. Like if you're messing with the vCores, um, and you get some very weird inconsistent results or you see like a declining share count or a declining uh, um, issue with the mega hash. Most of the time that had to do with like a lock thread and it just couldn't release and then it would just end up dying. It would end up just dropping it to zero because it actually frees the card up from being able to process any more stuff. And then it just drops off the list and the miner picks it up as a no activity. That's very, it's agnostic to types of cards and um, you know, AMD versus NVIDIA. Let's take a look at the main power. Main power's back up to around 190 almost. I mean, we're probably back around the same riser power. I would assume too. Yeah, 60.8, uh, yeah, 49 on the dot on the actual riser. It's amazing that little bump made a difference. Yes, I mean, that's just more of just iterating with these and seeing kind of what stalls a G GPU out. Um, but you guys were able to see it live. Take this down, find controls. 1300. All right, we're still at 43 mega hash. Let's take a look why it's tuning. Let's take a look at the main power. 150. That's pretty good. Let's check, let's check GPU power. Oh baby, look at that. Riser setting at 38. And we are at 40, 47 watts on the GPU 12 volt ancillary. So that's 70, 80, that's 85 watts, bros. So 43.1 mega hash at 85 watts. Nope, we're still under that threshold. Take it all the way down to 50. Let's see what this drops to, 39, with a negative 50 power limit. And we're gonna drop main power, 134.6. And the riser power, so GPU 12 volt, 42 watts. 30, 33 watt, 34 watts. So then that total is roughly 76 watts. Who needs freaking straps? Now this is the funny thing, is if we could get straps on this, man, we need to get this thing unlocked. Because that could be like 43 mega hash at 74 watts. Aye, aye, aye. If you take a 5700 XT and you do a BIOS mod to do the straps, the 1500 straps, and you copy it down the, down the list, and you rebot BIOS mod the 5700, you actually increase the total output of the power. Like it, it, it uses more power when you do that by about 30 watts. So you're looking at about 120 watts, 127 watts for your 60 mega hash. Let's say you, are, you can achieve 60 mega hash. Um, most of the time it's around 57 to 58 mega hash, and you're still going to be like 115 watts. Um, so 115 watts versus 75 watts is a pretty big difference on a full mining rig. So I mean, you're looking at times, let's say eight cards, you're talking a 320 watt difference on a mining rig. And you're talking $100 per card more with using roughly on eight cards, you'd be using 320 more watts. Your mega hash difference, if you're at 38.6 times eight cards, you're looking at 308 would be a full, a full rig of this. At 308, um, you're talking, uh, 75 plus the 130 is the system wattage here. So our 140 minus the 76, about 64 watts, right? 64 watts is the system wattage there. So 64, 75 watts times eight cards, 
600 watts by himself plus another 50. So you're talking an eight card mining rig of this. 310 mega hash for 650 watts. 310 mega hash for 650 watts. <laughs> what? That's redonkulous, actually, thinking about it.